Hey, what's going on guys? This is another gameplay with the Assault Shield using the Vector Backup and the C4s. I get 10k score, 18 flag caps playing on the map Meltdown. It's a really good gameplay. I hope you guys do enjoy this, but today what we're talking about is does the VSAT belong in Call of Duty? VSAT slash Blackbird from Black Ops 1. Now the reason I'm talking about this, I actually had planned to do this video yesterday before um, two guys had put their videos out. I, but the reason I found out other people had talked about this recently was I logged on to my little YouTube app, dialed in there, and I subscribed to a couple guys. Uh, specifically, I watched a video from 402 Thunder, Mr. Thunderstruck, Uncle Thunder, more like Brother Thunder to me because, <laughs> hell, I'm getting up there, man. I'm 29 years old. I'll be 30 at the end of this year in August. I'm telling you guys, man, a lot of you guys are saying, damn, Oz, you're so old, but wait till you guys get up there at age, man. The time will fly. It seems like just yesterday I turned 21, and I'm pretty sure it's just going to feel like yesterday, 10 years from now, when I'm 40, that I turned 30. So that's how time is, man. So believe me, all you guys saying, damn, Oz, you're old. You'll be there, guys. <laughs> Trust me, you will get there. Anyways, I watched his video, and he was actually talking about another buddy of mine. Uh, Pacific Tomb. Pacific Tomb has recently put out a video talking about the VSAT and why he feels that the VSAT should only be for him or his party. <laughs> he received a lot of criticism on this video, man. He basically had everyone telling him that he's a selfish player and they're gonna unsub and all this other nonsense. Hey, listen, guys. That's Tomb being Tomb. And I can relate to what he's saying because anybody that goes out and is able to get a lot of V sets every game. I mean, hell, this game when I put up fucking how many V sets? Seven, eight, nine, ten V sets? I don't know. I lost count. You know, really, I lost count after five. I put up five in the first round, and um, I don't remember how many after that. But anyways, anybody that's able to put up a V set, you know how it feels when you're going for a nice game. You're running big streaks. You call in that V set, and guess what? Someone calls in a stealth chopper. All of a sudden, their warthog is flying through the air, and a swarm comes raining from the sky, and you're sitting there saying, what the fuck? <laughs> like, why are you mooching off my stuff? And now, granted, you might not always think like that, because believe me, guys, I know how much the VSAT helps. There's been times where I clutch out a VSAT, my team is losing, and we're able to come back and win. And right here's another stupid death that I was talking about. Why was I standing on the flag knowing that they're gonna spawn on top of me, which they did? Fucking, was it five guys? Five guys spawn in the corner right next to me. Good spawn system, Treyarch. Good spawn system. But anyways, I know how much the VSAT helps. And it, but there's always that time when you do feel like that. Everybody out there that's called in a VSAT has had someone mooch off them. And in your mind, you're thinking, why are you mooching off my shit? That's my VSAT. You don't deserve that VSAT. There's no reason why you, sitting in the back of our spawn, not getting any kills, go, probably going negative, when I call in a VSAT, all of a sudden you're calling in a stealth chopper and lightning strikes off of my stuff. You don't deserve that. Now, that's a selfish way of thinking. Yes, I know. But that's just the ground war mentality. People that play ground war don't play ground war because it's more fun than 6v6. You know why they play ground war? I play ground war and everybody else plays ground war because there's more people on the map, there's more people to kill, it's a faster pace game. That's why we play ground war. We just play it for the kills. So you don't, obviously you don't want people taking your kills, right? So, um, yeah, that's, like I said, guys, that's just Tomb being Tomb. You don't, you guys, no need to hate on him. He's a good dude, he speaks his mind, and he probably says the shit that you wish you could say in a, in a commentary. Anyways, topic for today, I kind of got off a little bit. That's what I thought of that guy's video. Does the VSAT, or the Blackbird from Black Ops 1, belong in Call of Duty? That's the real question, and that's what I want to talk about. See, Black Ops 1... I ran nothing but Blackbird, Chopper Gunner Dogs. Why did I run this? Because I knew if I just camped for the Blackbird, which I, it's only, what, seven kills in Black Ops 1? If I camped for the Blackbird, I could see everyone on the map. I was guaranteed dogs, and I was guaranteed a Chopper Gunner, and that was going to guarantee me an extra 20 to 30 kills every single game off of one Blackbird. Same thing with the VSAT, guys. I'm going to tell you why I feel, and this is my opinion, maybe you feel different. I don't feel that the VSAT should be in the game because 
first of all, you know, the obvious, you shouldn't have an all-seeing eye. You should never know 100%. No matter how well you're doing that game, you should never know 100% exactly where everybody is. Knowing where the enemy is should be related to skill like it always has been in the previous Call of Duties, minus Black Ops 1. You should be able to know where the enemy is based off of the positioning of your team and also through reading the mini-map. You know, you, you know, it's pretty annoying to have to go up against a full party because because of the clan operations or whatever it is they have going on with clans, they promoted people to play in parties. So whenever you get into a, a ground war lobby, for example, or even a 6v6 dom, I know there's a lot of full parties there, um, you go up against full teams. And usually when you play against a full team, it's not a matter of who's better. It's just a matter of who camps for the VSAT first. Who hits the VSAT? And it's also pretty annoying in Ground War Kill Confirm, where getting a VSAT is even easier because instead of needing, you know, 10 kills with Hardline, all of a sudden you need 5 kills and, you know, 7 tags for one VSAT. And that is insane. 5 kills for a VSAT and Kill Confirm. And then you can see everything. And one VSAT pretty much will win the game for you. Because usually if you're running VSAT, you're either running non-lethals, which means your killstreaks will cycle over again, and you're going to get another VSAT upon another VSAT. I mean, look at my gameplay here, for example. I call in one VSAT, it ends up, you know, I get over 10k score just off those VSATs and flag caps. <laughs> That's pretty ridiculous, right? Um, I mean, this game was never in contention. If we really wanted to, uh, me and my friends, we could have just, you know triple cap them the whole game and this would have been a you know an eight minute domination seven and a half minute domination game easily complete blowout anybody that joins in has no hope whereas if there was no vsat in this game i think that if they want competitive games they want games to be more even take away these these kill streaks that blow the game out i mean you can have the swarms because swarm it does take a crap load of kills to get but just imagine how many swarms you would see if there was no VSAT in this game. You would hardly ever see a swarm. Just the sheer amount of, of points that you need to get that 1900. And if you can't see where anybody is, you're bound to get you're bound to get buzz killed at one point of another, uh, one point or another. So I, I actually wouldn't mind the big kill streaks, but take out these VSATs. Uh, make it so people have to actually read the map to get kills. It's gonna make these games more competitive. And if you're promoting competitive play, no, that's the way to do it. Um, not like <laughs> Mr. Von is going to take my advice, however, because I'm obviously not an optic, right? <laughs> oh, man. Good old Von Dahar. Anyways, guys, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Does the VSAT belong in Call of Duty? Do you like the VSAT? And if you do like or dislike the VSAT, leave a comment. Let me know why. Also, be sure to check out Mr. Thunderstruck's video down below. Also, check out Pacific Tombs' video down below. And I'll catch you guys next time. I'm out. Peace.